What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Don Good. Welcome back to another episode of the DGR. For those that don't know and you're tuning in for the first time, the DGR stands for the Don Good Report. Shout out to all the subscribers and all my folks out there that's viewing my videos and leaving all the positive feedback in the comments. I definitely appreciate the support, y'all. Continue supporting me. I will not let you down. And shout out to all the folks out there that's doing the wonderful, wonderful, incredible videos out there, all right? Keep doing what y'all do, because I'm definitely watching, and I definitely will support you as well. All right, and shout out to the homie, M-A-J-U-N-C-23. That's M-A-J-U-N-C-23. Man, homie looked me out, seriously. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have these scoring titles right here. So shout out to the homie. Again, his name is M Air J U N C 23. Check out his channel, y'all. He have a lot of heat on there. Check him out. All right, let's jump into the review. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now looking at the Nike Zoom KD4 scoring titles. These joints are crucial. I'm serious. To me, this is right uh, on top with the Weathermans, um, with the Nerfs, and uh, Quick Grief, and, um, and the Aunt Pearls. I mean, it's up there with all of those. If not, uh, you know, top one or top two, seriously. All right. As you can see, there's so many designs on this shoe, man. I mean, this shoe is very, very detailed. I mean, from the bottom of the shoe to the top of the shoe, very detailed. All right, let's start off with the toe box. As you can see, you have the Nike swoosh down there. You have your different designs. If you look closely right there, you can see a guy with the basketball under his arm. See him with the sneakers on. And I'll get into some more detail like that. You see the, uh, the laces. The laces are pretty much the same color as the actual shoe itself, which is that Tor Yellow Lemon Twist Photo Blue. And you see all those colors in the strap as well going across. Nike swoosh. Let's take a look at the tongue. You see the uh, scoring averages of the three uh, consecutive scoring titles. You see 28 right there in the basketball over top of the hoop. With KD35 as the actual netting going around the rim. And if you look to the side, you see 27.7. Is the average of that scoring title right there. And if you look to the right, you see 30.1 is the average of that scoring title right there as well. Very, very dope. And um, it's good that Nike could, uh, you know, help him celebrate, man, all three of his scoring titles uh, with this particular shoe. I mean, this shoe is so dope. It's just... It's just so much, it's just too many things to, uh, to capture, you know, so I can't uh, capture it all. See the nice uh, breathable uh, vents on the side, that mesh. Tongue is mesh as well. Man, this is crucial, very crucial. All right, let's pick up, I guess, one of the shoes and start talking about the detail of it. As you guys know, you saw that right there on the, uh, the tongue. See the different designs. See uh, Kevin Durant right there in the suit. And you all know what that's about. So I don't even have to tell you. See the KD back there. See the comp is in the middle of the D. Real crucial. Very, very crucial. See 32 in the bucket. See where it says fam. And below that it looked like it says first. Like fam first. Which is definitely uh, of something that Kevin believes in real heavy. And you also see some wording right there if you look closer right there as well. See MVP. Yeah, 
real, real dope. All right, let's jump to the other shoe real quick. Try not to make this video too long, ladies and gentlemen. See a man on a horse right there. And uh, I think it's going both ways. Some folks say uh, it resembles um, him winning the, uh, the horse title, and then some say it, uh, it resembles, I guess, uh, the Longhorn. So um, not quite sure which, which way it is. I mean, but those are the two things that I'm hearing right now. I'm probably going to say uh, it resembles uh, him winning the horse uh, title. Very dope. Definitely a must. And uh, as always, you know they come with the uh, the general stuff that's on the bottom, which is uh, Barbara, Tony Man, the symbol for his parents, the Thunderbolts, engineered and designed to the specifications of Kevin Durant and his signature on the bottom, and also you have C. Pleasant Merlin on the back with all three A's representing the three stars within the DC uh, flag. So, um, real dope shoot. Uh, very dope. So, again, shout out to my homie, MAJUNC23. Subscribe to his channel, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you uh, helping me out, bro. And also, I want to make a comparison as well, real quick. I'm going to uh, push those to the side for a minute. You're now looking at the Nike Zoom KD3 Scoring Champs. And uh, the question that I have for y'all is why did he sell out like extremely fast? What I mean by that is like a line around the block, folks beating down the doors, and people just calling and ringing the phones off the hook. What's the reason why these didn't go like that? But the scoring titles was extremely hard to get. Uh, Y'all let me know. I mean, this shoe is so dope. This, again, was an exclusive to House of Hoops, just like the scoring titles. And um, to make it even more crazier, this particular shoe came in this case that you see, a clear see-through case with Katie's initial on the front of it. And basically, it states the scoring champ. And a lot of detail just like the scoring titles not as much but enough i mean like do you go to horse champ right there that everybody's talking about and uh just a bunch of other stuff buried farms the uh three dc stars that I always keep talking about on all the shoes that they uh you know made differently so i don't know let me know how y'all feel and what y'all think these are just as tight as the scoring titles to me, in my opinion. And I just want to know what's the difference between a couple of months ago when nobody lining up, you know, and, and going crazy over these when this was extreme, an extreme release. And they also gave you a plastic hard casing with it. And the shoe was only a hundred bucks. So, I don't know, let me know how y'all feel. I don't want to ramp on it, but just let me know how y'all feel. I just wanted to show you a comparison of the scoring champs and the scoring titles. Which one is your favorite? What's the reason why people didn't line up and go crazy for this shoe right here a couple of months ago? And this shoe right here was basically almost impossible to cop but let me know how y'all feel about this let me know what you think and what's the reason why one sold faster than the other and why one sat around for the better part of the morning here's what it looked like with the lights on ladies and gentlemen the 3M is ridiculous on this shoe. Incredible. You see all the things I was talking about now. Like the guy with the basketball on his arm. You know, the two additional hoops, the one on the left and the one on the right, which are the scoring uh, titles. I mean, the shoe is just 
incredible. Thought I would just uh, show y'all that as a little treat.